You ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and we hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Just over three minutes to go. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. the punch. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Some nice back and forth action here. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. He gets caught with that punch. Right hook to the body. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look for the setup, okay? It's gonna be there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Get him with the hip into that kick. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Oh, big shot lands. He 
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. That you heard of in the last round. Same exact one. Nice leg kick land. Hands high, hands high. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Punch no good. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his pulling. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, and he caught the kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch land. Ooh. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Powerful leg kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just misses there with the left. Huge block there. Nice punch there by Lee. starting to find himself in the pocket. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Lee's shot there is blocked. Oh! Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna stretch the body off. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Come on, guys, gotta do something. Back to the overhand left, no good. Big punch lands through the middle. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big kick. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. That is it. Oh! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. 
Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, we take a look back at the replay, and not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. That was a massive body.